and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kindred Ash getting another unique champion combination. So how Kindred and Ash work well together would be that Ash is going to uh, Frostbite the strongest enemy. And we just have a lot of other Frostbite cards to have the strongest enemy get Frostbitten. And then Kindred will mark the weakest enemy. Once we Frostbite the strongest enemy and uh, have it have zero power, now that enemy will be the weakest. And so then if we mark that one with Kindred, now suddenly instead of us slaying like what was originally the weakest enemy, really we're slaying the strongest enemy. Um, it's going to take a little bit to put those together and have that work, but that that is kind of a cool little thing that can happen. So that's what we're, we're going to have. Um, so we're going to have Ash. We're going to have a whole bunch of Frostbite spells. We're going to have Rhymefang Wolf in here being able to do its thing. But then we're going to have the Shadow Isles package that gives us a lot of card advantage because we do want to be able to slay units, and it's kind of easy to slay our own units. We're going to have Spirit Leech, Blighted Caretaker, Glimpse Beyond be able to help slay our own units. So Spirit Leech will draw two. Glimpse Beyond will draw two. Also, because we're Freljord, we get to play Averroes and Sentry, Last Breath draw a card, which works great with those, right? Like if we have Spirit Leech kill an Averrosen Sentry, we're drawing three cards. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, and, you know, still getting a 4-1 body in there. So Sentry uh, will even help out, will help out that card advantage even more. Got to feel the rush in here because, you know, 10-10 champions are pretty good. And uh, that's kind of it. You know, like we're going to, uh, yeah, just have our stuff, slay our own things, frostbite some stuff. I don't know. We'll kind of see how it does. It looks looks like a little cool combination here. All right. So let's play some Kindred Ash. Five games in ranked. Bior Shen. That's like the worst version of Jarvan Shen. <laughs> They need a buff Fiora. It's not, not as good as Jarvan. All right, lots of fours. Yeah, I mean, our hand's pretty decent. I'm just going to keep it. Kindred's one of your favorite champs. Cool. Yeah, Kindred's pretty sweet. Who's a good wolfie? They always make the level 2 art, like, way cooler than the level 1 art. I think that's a rule. Alright, first two draws not very good, because obviously we already had one copy of each of those cards. We don't... <laughs> Seriously? So our three draws are just the three cards that we already had in hand? That is not good. Yeah, thanks, Curse Keeper. Thanks for coming right on time. That was not good. Well, we are drawing our champions. That's something we're doing. Should probably attack there, I guess. Yeah, I guess Sharp Side didn't save it. Yeah, I, I should attack there. I walk the space between worlds. Enforced. Oh God. Nature blesses her followers. All right, hope no deny. Let this happen. I'll also reset the Fiora back to being zero out of two. That's too bad. But it should still reset the Fiora. So yeah, it's it's at zero out of four, at least. If they're out there, 
I'll spot him. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. Good hand, opponent. Good hand. It must be. Oh God. Nature blesses her followers. This just isn't going to end well. <laughs> really? All right. I mean, I'm I'm going down to one here. Yeah, I mean, this just can't end well. And yes, I could obviously I can get some more life, I can harsh winds, but I mean they have all that stuff in play and I'm so far behind. That was us drawn really, really poorly at the beginning. Keeping you know, keeping two fours and a five, and then our first three cards were those exact same four, four, five. That's just way too slow. And we're just way too far behind, and they had a great hand. Alright, Lissandra Trundle. Do have a whole lot of card draw. I'm going to keep Field of Rush. I think it can be an important piece. Best hand. They're out there. I'll spot them. Not the best hand. All the world on one arrow. Let's go, Ash. Let's go, Ash. Well, I'm saying not the best hand is because I don't have you know, I didn't have Avros and Sentry. Or glimpse beyond, or spirit leech. None of my, none of my things that draw cards. Right, like that's, I wanted those kind of cards for this matchup. We just had none of them. I don't want Ash to be at one health. So does that card. The trolls are going to war. Yeah, we just can't find any of the cards that I want. <laughs> I want Glimpse Beyond and Spirit Leech. Using the caretaker to slay to mark Trundle. So I am a couple turns away from Field of Rush. Like I could attack, like they they definitely just block with Trundle, but I mean I guess I could make them do that. You gotta believe me. A chill in the air. Okay, I like drawing the Spirit Leech. These old eyes still see far and clear. Save the homestead. First card draw card. Kindred. 
But the other card I want here is like Troll Chant, right? Like that's that's besides like I want the card draw cards, my champions, and Troll Chant. Like those are the things that I want. So um, didn't do like the best at those. I am making playing their Ice Pillar much worse by playing the Rhyme Fang Wolf. I guess not that much worse. Whoa. Mm. That's too bad. I was planning on using the flash freeze on the Lissandra, and so that my kindred would have marked the Lissandra, and so wouldn't have marked the 2-1. That was the plan. All right, let's get the ash out of my hand, so that um, I'm not, I'm not really playing around ruination. I've seen a lot of these people with this deck like not play ruination these days. It's not really playing around ruination, but I don't want my I don't want the field of rush to pull the ash from my hand, right? Because then we just like lose a card from our hand. So I'm just gonna play the ash normally before this. So they could combo up? Like, how? How did you think that they were going to be comboing us? We should be able to have this. Like, we're great against Atrocity. We're going to have... I guess they're... Oh, they are at 17. With the tough nexus. The time is right. Strike now. Adorosans, stand together. Maybe we don't win this. They're at 17 with the tough nexus. Depends. They they already used one vengeance. It depends on what they got. But they can have like Lissandra and Tomb. Oh, they're playing Flash Freeze? Well, that's bad news for me. They're playing Flash Freeze. That's quite bad news for me. I can do a little bit extra damage if I want. But I think I, I want this Ice Shard to happen and kill this Averrozen Sentry before I mark anything. But I could have dealt... Like, if I Vengeance the Lissandra, we do an additional 4 damage. Because, like, both of those would have dealt 2 extra damage, and then this would have got the plus 2, plus 2. If I cast this, we kill both of these things. Um, the only, the only way this is bad for me, really, is if they can play two 8-plus cost cards next turn, which would really be, like, Spectral Matron. So this, this does open me up to Spectral Matron, but I do like getting rid of both of these things. Because, like, I don't mind if they want to spend all nine mana on Commander Ledros again, like, this next turn. I know that puts that back in their hand, but that's not bad for me if they spend all nine mana on that again. We're obviously going to be drawing the, uh, Crystal Arrow from the Ash. Hmm. Ruination, not great news. They're out there. I'll spot them. Oh. Ugh. 
And like, I can't even cast the Crystal Arrow. Oh no, I guess I'm just gonna Glimpse Beyond you. And draw two cards. Because they have to have an enemy in play for you to, to cast this Crystal Arrow, and so I can't even cast this thing. Yuck. That didn't help. Alright, finally I can play this card. Okay. Kindred's cool. Lethal finally. <laughs> We've drawn like all of our, our frostbite stuff. All of our spells. I wonder if like how many spells we actually have left in the deck. Oh, are you kidding me? Ice shard kills me? No. Wow. The saddest game. Ice shard lethal. The saddest game. To do it, but okay. I like. The, I I feel like I'm gonna like this matchup considering we have all these frostbite cards. Right, frostbite should be good against Fiora. Also, like marking with Kindred should also be good. Um, but this isn't really any of that that kind of stuff. Let's mulligan all three of these. I mean, Troll Chance also like good in this matchup though too. Vengeance is great against everything except Unyielding Spirit. Yeah, I, I think that we should be really good in this matchup. We got a lot of good tools. These old eyes still see far and clear. Safeguard our homes. In Avarosa's name. Alright, so we'll take the first first Fiora down. Alright, I think I just want to pass. Get back even on mana. You can see the Devastian border from here. They could definitely be struggling looking for another Fiora right now. Yeah, Twisted Fate Fizz is still definitely up there as one of the very best decks. For sure. I don't know what what like it, an exact top three would look like. Yeah, it would be up there. They would fall by my blade. Uh, certainly. A true Fragorian welcome. Okay, where are you at, Ash? Yeah, you're no, you're nowhere close to leveling up. Just the way I like it. It's still lethal. What? Why? Yeah, I can't I can't imagine they stay alive here, right? This will be quick. And there we go. 
Yeah, I think that Fiora matches we are really well positioned against. Because we even have like Glimpse Beyond to sacrifice, like whenever they try to kill our things. That's a, that's an awesome matchup for us. No, go back to Fiora. I want to face more Fiora decks. <laughs> have our Kindred Mark um, Frostbite them. Uh, I will keep. Brittle Steel, great against Diana. You all know how much I think that Diana is awesome. Most underrated champion in the game right now. But we got a really good quality card against it. Nothing escapes my watch. Safeguard our homes. All right, we'll play Sentry. If I didn't have the attack token, I would have played Curse Keeper. But, you know, we'll play the Sentry first. Get to play the Curse Keeper here. I took something pretty quickly. I wish we had enough mana to play like a two drop first and like have them play something else. But all right, got that thing out of here. Our deck's pretty cool. Like that was a that was a pretty unlucky loss there against the Lissandra deck. We drew almost every single spell in our entire deck and just couldn't quite finish it out. And for how you know hindsight. If I would have cast the Vengeance during combat, I think we would have won that game. But again, hindsight. Might as well frostbite this thing that is ephemeral. Just, you know, kill it completely. Seems like that works pretty well. I think it does have Challenger. Stay back. I think they're probably going to use Pale Cascade right here. Oh, but that levels up Diana. Mm, I guess I still have Flash Free, so I don't get to Brittle Steel, though. Okay, good. They didn't use it on the Diana. That's um, kind of greedy. Trying to get that one extra point of damage in. A little greedy. But now that's not a 4-4, four, four, that's a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Ash is not from Noxus. Two. All the world on one arrow. Wax or wane, we do not fear change. So two, three, four. Yeah, I don't have to level up. And got a flash freeze in case some in case we need it. In case something weird happens. Does let them use unspeakable horror to kill Ash now, but oh well. Yeah, it's worth saving Flash Free still. These old eyes still see far clear. Unseen unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. Arise in our time of need. This isn't gonna make life easy. So I can play one flash freeze or two troll chants. I will be heard. Forgive me. Probably one flash freeze, yeah. I mean I guess if I play two troll chants, I can keep the ash alive. 
And I guess I only take two more damage. Go for lethal right now, but it's not a very reliable lethal. No, it's, it's definitely worth it to do this. Because, like, they play a unit, these all get the minus one. Nocturne's good. Yeah, I agree with you that with, instead of challenging with the Shade Stalker, they should have challenged with the Overwhelm Guardian for the Ash. Would have threatened their Guardian being dead, but it would have been more damage that they were, you know, that would have been additional point of damage, and also almost assuredly kill Ash. Alright. So we challenge, challenge. So I want Frostbite this thing. Frostbite, Frostbite, Attack, they have two blockers. I have three lethal attackers. They could use, if they have like a pill cascade, they can use that and block. So if, if this doesn't work, we probably die. Or I can play Kindred, but if I play, if I play Kindred and, basically, do they have spells or units? If I play Kindred and they have units, that's bad for me. If I play this and they have spells that could be bad for me. Come, come, get this way. The time is right. Strike now. I'm going to try this. Cool, yeah, but, uh, yeah. the Zoe Ophelios that we're going to be playing up next is going to be a little different from, like, your normal Zoe Ophelios decks that you see. Um, I'm playing a, a new version with Freljord. Ah, they had Atrocity. Well. We have just gotten pretty unlucky with these games, these losses. Like, our opponent, like us having lethal and the opponent just having, like, the spell that kills us. All right, we'll play some Azir. Okay, we do not have the... So we have the attack token turn four for this kind of stuff. Let's get rid of you. I'm still going to keep those, though. See what we see. Some games are determined by when you have the attack token. And this looks like one of them from just what's happened so far. This one where like us attacking on turn three with like caretaker on three is would be a huge deal compared to them attacking on turn one and getting this whole attack on turn one. All right, so that card's not scary, so we'll just play the Curse Keeper this turn. That card is very good, though. Ruinous Path. doing well.
Okay. Hmm. Can we find a kindred? You're not allowed to frostbite your own cards, unfortunately. Yeah, they have a very they have had a very good prankster hand, and I, I have had a uh, tough time dealing with the prankster. That's a terrible card to draw. Where's our kindreds? Kindred. But I can't win from now. GG's. We need. We real. I really need kindred to help kill stuff because I can't kill three hell things very well. All right, so we ended up going one and four. Two of those super close to being wins, but our opponents had the ice shard and the atrocity to end up killing us. We did see that like not having like spells that remove our opponent's stuff, you know, like the Shadow Isle spells did hurt. Um, so maybe maybe these don't really work that well together because only the one vengeance and then having Caretaker and Rhymefang Wolf to kill stuff um, from your opponent's side was that that did make things problematic. That that did. And so because with Ash you gotta play all these frostbite cards. Um, but then you can't have like if you got to have like frostbite spells, you can't. It's it's hard to have like all like a good amount of frostbite spells, but then also have your shadow owls removal spells as well. Um, putting those both together, it's because then you just end up starting to have too many spells, right? Because then then you're not going to be able to attack as much and put enough pressure on the opponent. So it it does make life difficult having uh, having to like having frostbite and wanting to play removal spells as well, and that's what we kind of saw with with this so i think this kind of deck is going to have like some really good matchups others not so much and and like basically and not only just matchups but specific cards there's going to be like some specific cards that we're going to be really good against and some that we're not going to be very good against like fiora for example like we saw with the fiora matchup fiora decks lee sin decks those kind of decks we're going to be amazing against like like this this deck against fiora is just incredible because all the frostbite cards are incredible against fiora and then and then of course kindred incredible there too incredible matchup against fiora and same same kind of goes with like lease index but then when you have like some things like um like we saw a uh, phantom prankster a card that's, that i don't that's not really that great but like we we can't really kill a phantom prankster right like so like we're gonna really struggle there because we have like caretaker right like if we don't have ramping wolf we can't kill a phantom prankster so like that that can be a problem um a card like uh Nocturne, sorry, I couldn't think, think of the name. But Nocturne was also a huge problem because even though, yes, I could Frostbite Nocturne, Nocturne get, gave all of their other stuff uh, fearsome and also reduced the power of all of my blockers. So even though I'd have, you know, multiple 4-3 blockers in play because Nocturne, you know, they just play unit, play unit, and all their stuff has fearsome. And yes, I can Frostbite a little bit, but that that is, uh, you know, that's really problematic. And so, like, those kind of things... Uh, we're going to struggle with more. Um, but still, the the Lissandra, the Lissandra game, I had I had the the uh, cards to win that. It was I had the difficult decision with the Vengeance during the combat. I went after the combat to kill both of their things. But if I go during the combat, I kill the Lissandra, not make their Nexus tough. Also give my Kindred plus two. We do an extra four points of damage, and I think we finish it out from there, especially because after that Vengeance turn, I just kept drawing more and more Frostbite spells. So I would have had plenty of Frostbite spells for their Ledros. So I didn't need to kill the, the Ledros, especially how we ended up drawing after that. Finding more ways to maybe get some more... Um, some more, like, Black Spears... And cards like that, they can they can kill some some problematic things uh, on our opponent's side. I think that's really kind of about all that we're missing. 
and maybe we can do that maybe maybe we can do that instead of like caretakers curse key or something i don't know but anyway um fun fun one to try out we got to see some some really cool stuff in action and um i think we can see a bunch of potential here with this deck uh, but you know it still still needs some more tuning and and that's that's the thing how how can you you want to play a good amount of frostbite spells but then you also need to play shadow isles removal spells that kill opposing champions you know maybe you want withering whales like withering whale also just helps against these aggro decks can help heal your nexus um good at killing small stuff to help kindred so can, can you fit in cards like black spear and withering whale um and that kind of stuff while still having the frostbite cards while still having enough things that pressure your opponent um you know those those are the questions to answer and um, our deck was close, but I, I don't think it's quite perfect yet. So that's that's what you have to continue to work on when you're tuning um, this kind of deck. Can you fit those all together and um, balance it all out? All right, but anyway, that's it here for Kindred Ash. So uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, feel free to um, leave those comments. Of course, hit the like button, but leave those comments. Let me know if you if you have like any ideas of like how to balance this out with those 40 cards with stuff that I was just talking about there um and everything but and i i would appreciate that all right but anyway that's it here for kindred ash so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video